Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Sean De Silva, Medical Director at ASGI Hospital Karanzale. And today we would like to announce about the corneal transplants being started at ASG. To know the functioning of the eye, the eye works like a camera. Similar to the camera, the light entering through the eye has to be focused by two lenses in the eye. One is the cornea, the external transparent part of the eye, and the second is the lens. This image is formed on the retina, which helps us to be able to see. The bylo part jasa ami bubble muta theka kup lokank dwesa zaun wo pede zata. This is also called as the window to the eye. Due to damage to the cornea, jenna light bitter sarina, the person becomes blind, and this is called as corneal blindness. These patients, after doing the necessary investigations, we evaluate that retina ani optic nerve is perfectly functioning. Padyacho ani dodacho optic nerve jasa theka kind damage na. In these type of patients, doing a corneal transplant surgery can help to fully restore the patient's vision. We are happy to announce at ASG that we have started the corneal transplant program after receiving the necessary licenses from the state government for the last one month and four patients have undergone corneal transplants successfully. This is a, another image wherein the patient had undergone a corneal transplant but after many years due to various reasons the transplant can fail and after taking it to the operation theatre the damaged cornea is replaced and the new cornea is then put in place thereby restoring the patient's vision. So we would like to uh, personally thank the Health Minister Sri Vishwajit Rane, the support extended from the Goa Medical College, Dean Dr. Bandikar, Dr. Uga Muzgamkar, Director of Health Services and the entire team for helping us to initiate this facility. And we look forward to many more patients uh, receiving the gift of sight through corneal transplantation. Thank you very much. So, we have a corneal transplantation operation. Do you have a patient to the feedback? Both the patients, both the patients are very happy. Thank you for the opportunity to get the opportunity. But now these transplant surgeries can be done in Goa. And follow-up is a big deal because you need to have a very good follow-up for these patients. To ensure that the transplant is accepted by the human body. First time this is happening in Goa. It's a pehli data hai, but it was done at a very lower frequency, and now with a greater demand from the patients, this requirement will be provided on a regular basis at ASG. We also have a waiting list now for corneal transplant patients, and uh, we are getting support from eye banks in other states as well so that the necessary patients require the cornea can undergo the surgery in the respective time. What about this thing, billing? Uh, what is the cost it will be? And uh, if, uh, is there any uh, support from the government? Yes. Department? yes. At what present, is? the Goa government has the Deen Deyal Swastha Seva Yojana, hmm. which uh, covers financially the cost of the corneal surgery. But however, we are dependent on the corneal tissue from other states. The eye bank at uh, Goa Medical College will be starting shortly. But it is 100% financing from uh, that card? No, it is around 50% to the card. As I said, the corneal tissue and those costs need to be covered and additional expenses from the patient's side. What about the donors? Uh, where you get the support from any uh, eye bank or cornea bank is there? Or there are, uh, the rate of uh, donors are high in Goa as far as other uh, states are concerned or you are taking it from or procuring from the, only the banks which so provide this? In Goa, we had an eye bank existing over all these years. After the COVID period, the eye bank was not functioning and hence when the new bank starts in Goa, then we can receive tissue from the state of Goa itself. But at present, do we see that the eye banking movement is there in other states for many years those eye banks have a huge number of donors as compared to our state. And through the Sight Life program, the corneal transplant surgeons all across India are connected with different eye banks. So we may receive tissue from any part of India, wherever the need is required. So in that way, even the eye bank does not waste the tissue. Whatever eye bank has excess tissue will go in other states also to help the corneal blind patients.
So both the patients who underwent the optical keratoplasty were in the elderly age group. One patient was 56 years old, the other patient was 58 years old. But Kupshya Ami Paita that maybe in the next one or two months, we have two more patients in the age group between 18 to 25 years who require corneal transplant. There are many diseases of the cornea where the awareness is very low. The cornea becomes very weak and it changes into the shape of a cone. This is a disease affecting patients between 18 to 30 years of age. And in Goa, we see a significant number of patients having that problem. What may be the reason of that? That could be many factors, including genetic, environmental factors, eye allergies, eye rubbing. But when this problem happens, if you diagnose it early, AST is the first hospital to do corneal cross-linking laser. When we first in Goya, regularly the hospitals used to acquire the equipment once a week or once a month from neighboring states. We have it 24 hours, 24-7 available and we are doing regularly. In the last uh, one and a half year, almost 75 patients have undergone corneal cross-linking therapy for keratoconus at our hospital. So we do expect that in the coming six months to one year that several more patients who have been waiting for surgeries can be performed here itself and uh, we will do the necessary arrangements for this. So in the last one and a half month we have almost completed 13 camps with the help of uh, the health minister and his team in the constituency of Satari. Over a period of 13 camps we have screened not less than 3000 patients and uh, provided spectacles for an average amount of 800 to 1000 patients which has been covered through the health minister's uh, team, the trust. We also have identified that this is the first time in the camp we have performed mobile fundus photography wherein we have used a non-midriatic fundus camera equipped with artificial intelligence to identify patients having diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma. Diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma. These are the main causes of irreversible blindness in the population today, where we have to create more awareness for patients to come for regular checkups for these two problems. We are also happy to announce that through the Dindayal screen, the laser therapy for diabetic retinopathy is covered completely under the government of Goa. The patient does not have to have any additional expenditure to have these lasers done at the correct time. You don't treat the diabetic retinopathy in time. It results in bleeding and permanent damage to the eye for which diabetic retinopathy is the number one cause of blindness in today's population. One patient who had diabetic retinopathy has also undergone surgery for vitrectomy and is doing very well following these camps.